just speak more about um, a couple of different things. First thing, my name is Michael McNair. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of 55B Labs. I am also the CEO of Cody.ai, which is sentiment analysis for workplace morale. And I am a teacher at 55B Academy. And you know, starting this YouTube channel is kind of give you a little bit more of an informative about what we do, um, a little bit uh, dive into some of the things that we think about and some of the methods that we go through. And this is just an introduction video to the people that, um, to allow them to really, really wrap their head around some ideas and some insights about the way that we think. So this one is about the brain and mind. And um, I speak on this subject a lot um, within passing between colleagues and between friends um, and family because I am an entrepreneur, a founder, I am the, found, I am the, the, the son of an entrepreneur myself. Um, you, you start to really surround yourself with people that are similar to you, right? Um, and not even just in the, the actuality of, of people being, but, but more so in the way you wanna progress your life and you want to have some of the most sharpest tools in your shed. So today I'm gonna be speaking about the brain and the mind, right? And how both of them are gonna fight with each other. Now this could be applied to almost anything, but I'm really gonna be applying it to entrepreneurship and foundership. So first thing, there are a lot that you go through already for you know just economic needs. When you add on top of that, the biology of, of this drive inside of you to create something um, of value, it starts to really take a toll on you, right? So I'm speaking more to the founders right now. Everyone that's listening, uh, you probably have a clear understanding of what I'm talking about, what your biological needs are, and then what your mind is telling you. Now, both of these are gonna continue to fight. And it's about maintaining and managing the fight and about coming to a resolution every single step, every single method, every single email, every single way that you're putting yourself out there. You want to make sure that you are catering to percentages and that's all your, your brain does. Your brain is a prediction. It, all it does is try, it's trying to predict the next move. And your mind, when you add in, hey, I want to be a good person or hey, I want to eat or hey, I want to create a data science project, it throws your biology off whack. You have to cater to it. And sometimes your mind takes over and sometimes your body will take over. And that is just the way that this goes. So um, I wanted to touch on a couple of different things first. So your brain in itself, right, is uh, it's a place of where neurons and electrical synapses happen. Uh, there's about 86 billion neurons in your body. Right, 85 billion glial cells, which is considered a supporting system inside of your body. So just think about it this way. Your neurons, the thing that gets you to move, the things that get you to fire, the, um, the different neural pathways in your mind when you like, a, when you like a, a, um, a, maybe a new video on YouTube or Instagram, right? you're creating pathways in, in front of your eyes, right? And you wanna, and, and, and so think about it this way. Your brain is doing that exponentially fast. You're not really realizing it. Um, so, you know, we're all built of programs. Programs and whether it's, you know, calculation or in theory or in, you know, social impact or in finance, we're built of different programs. And when you go against some of the programs in your body, it's like anything else. It's, it's very, very tough to learn. So as a founder, you have to basically go against everything that evolution has ever taught you in order to be successful. Now this is tough because what it's stating is, it's saying that we as creatures, as humans, as mammals, we seek out stability, we seek out, we seek out being comfortable, right? That's what your brain does. Your brain is this three pound, you know, full of, you know, electrical synapses and, and matter, right? All inside of your, in your head. And, and the projection is your eyes. The feeling that you have in here, maybe it's something from your family, like myself. So for me, it's a little bit, it could be a little more difficult for an individual that did not come from a founder or entrepreneurship background uh, in their family. But it could be easier, who can say? So what this video, I want this mainly to be about is, first thing, understand your brain. Understand that your brain is going to create new habits 
and it's gonna take the easiest path every single time unless you create an environment where you are constantly iterating. That's, I, I feel like that's, that's, that's pretty much it, right? So if you create an environment for your brain that is what's matter, that's what you, you can touch and feel, that's what you're wearing, that's how you portray yourself, right? That's the movement in which you make, your brain will just do the rest. Your mind, right? Your mind is the wishes, the wants, everything else you're, you're driving for in life. Maybe it's a wife, maybe it's kids, maybe it's, um, maybe it's being president. Your brain and your mind are gonna fight because there's some things that you're gonna have to give up biologically in order to achieve that mentally. Now, a lot of what we talk about at the lab is mental health, right? How do we track these measures? How can we help people around being able to not just speak about it, but also, you know, help manage and maintain? That's one of our biggest goals, help a billion people uh, help maintain and manage their mental health. And it's not about it going away because your mental health issues are not gonna, everyone has them, right? It's, it's just something that's, you know, what we've seen and whether it's society or what, what we've seen, some, some of us have it in us because of, you know, past family members, stresses, depression, things like that. As a founder, you seek out depression, you seek out anxiety, you seek out stress. That's what you do. Because if you didn't, you, you seek out instability. You, you want to travel to different places and, and, and you, know, we, we, you know, we sleep on floors, we sleep in our friends' offices and, and houses in order to achieve something that we might never obtain. So when I say that being a founder, being an entrepreneur, and being a real one, um, not anything that just, oh, I'm doing this you know, on the side, I'm just doing this for kicks and giggles, I'm doing this for profit, actually wanting to build something that's viable and put it out there in the world, yes, I, I'm, I am... 100% sure that we go against, partly we go against our biology, unless we have people in our family that have been entrepreneurs. So where things can get passed down through DNA. Now that's different. So what? So, so going, going back to what I was saying, your brain wants to seek being comfortable. That's why being on Facebook, that's why likes and Instagram and all that other stuff seems good to you. YouTube and all these things seem good to you. The mind, your wishes, your desires, maybe it's a family, maybe it's stability, maybe it's being a millionaire, that is completely different. And as a founder, what your wishes and desires are, are putting whatever you want out there in the world. And the way to really compromise is that is to create something of value. And that's in the middle. The, the, the middle is value, right? You have instability, you have stability. You have your brain that's gonna be a prediction engine that's gonna to continue to keep on trying to predict what it can do next. And your mind is gonna to have to prune back every last thing that the brain has taught it. And that's when you start to see progression, when you start to unlearn the issues that are going on and then relearn what you're trying to accomplish. So in the middle, you have a value. That value will continue to keep your train going. So to my founders and my entrepreneurs who are having trouble, look at your brain, right? I've studied mine for years. Look at your mind. And then look at what you want to build in the middle. And what you want to build in the middle, you want to keep on trying to push it, right? But sometimes you're stuck. Sometimes, you know, your brain and your mind are going are, are gonna to fight and then they combust and the value doesn't, you don't care anymore. You're like, you know what, I, I don't even want to do this anymore. I'm done. And that is what I don't want you to do. I want you to continue on. I want you to understand that there is a balance, that you can continue on, but you have, it, it, it's a fight and it's, it's going to continue to be that way if your values don't align. So... This video was just to, you know, get some insights and some tips out there. So a couple of different things you want to, you want to remember is, um, you know, on your, on your brain side, understand that it's happening to you. Understand that the environment in which you live might not be the one that you think is true. The mind, on the, on, on, on the side of the mind, 
that's going to encompass what that's that's really going to take control of what your true values are and what you really want to put that out there in the world right so make sure you understand that you have you know you, you have a clear mind right you have a, um, a a clear a clear head when it comes to what you're building right product strategy and team that you're going to put in place for the foundership and then on the other side make sure you're doing things to complement your brain. You're running, you're drinking water, you're eating pretty healthy, you are, you know, and, and these and these, you know, metrics can be can be tracked and traced and things of that nature. But if you want to continue that boat, then you're gonna have to try to do both. And 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 I'm gonna be here to walk you through some of the practices that we do. I'll be introducing a bunch of different people. We'll be talking about technology and science and math and all that other good stuff. Um, I might even go into some deep dives and tutorials, but hit subscribe, understand what we're doing, and enjoy it. Share. Thank you so much.